Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Mayo Speed. I know, I feel like I'm in Greece, but I'm in Tokyo. <laughs> what I love about it is that is that there's so much um, in the world now that makes us sad or feeling low or feeling like uh, things are a little shaky financially. We, ha we are uncertain. We're living in uncertain times. And this musical the music in it, the people in it, the story reminds you of how much you have in the simplest circumstances that um, and to carpe diem, you know, seize the day, get up and dance, have some fun. <laughs> and that's what it meant to me when I first saw it. I saw it right after 9-11, I was living in New York and um, my daughter's, my youngest, I had to entertain ten or ten year olds, uh, five ten year olds, and they were all feeling very low. And so I opened the newspaper and I saw the advertisement for a brand new musical coming to New York called Mamma Mia. And the ad said, Ex Unadulterated Joy. And I thought, that's. Where we're going to go. We're going to go to see Mamma Mia. And they all went. And they all trooped in. They sat down. And by the end of the show, they were standing on their seats, even though I'm saying, don't stand on the seats, don't stand. On the and they're dancing and they're singing and they poured out of the, onto the street. The whole audience, old people, young people, very cynical teenagers, <laughs> tourists from everywhere in the world, Everybody had this same feeling of joy. And um, I thought that that's a really, really powerful thing. And when they said they were going to make a movie of it, I said, oh boy, do we need it. <laughs>